welcome to our plantation with science chapter one so how plantation with science method can help in your during planting plantation with science we can trace back the origin back into 1993 july there's a uh, 300 durian seeds and 48 grafted seedling were shipped from malaysia to australia so total there are 23 species so later on the australia didn't give up and import again 45 species of total for 140 seedling from sarawak in 1994 so all the species actually show on the screen so what actually we learn from this because a lot of malaysian they are so proud of they are being the best in planting the durian in actual fact no mindset of those developed country farmers they need to know something first before planting but so sad to say that a lot of malaysian farmers they, they just plant then they see how then they adjust along the way but later on a lot of them they hear the advices from those neighbors friend and never hearing what a professional said presentation with science series of youtube video is showing you how to do it a professional way farmers intention to plant durian you should know a lot of things first you need to know the climate and uh, seasonal is it a seasonal fruit a lot of people they thought that durian is a uh, two season or maximum three season per year in actual fact you can induce a flower and you have can fruit uh, all season second is fertilizer and trace element that needed for durian planting and the third is the seedling grafting sunlight soil windbreakers earth structure and also the drainage the fourth is diseases that in fact the durian tree and fifth is flowering and the pollination six is fruiting seven is maintenance and eight is impact to the environment there's so many things we need to consider but so sad to say that a lot of Malaysian planters they never think of it in order to help new planters all the video demonstrate the whole process uh, of durian planting from initial planning stage until the final stage harvesting so good to let you know that it's all free of charge there will be a total of 40 chapters this is chapter number one if you are well conversed in mandarin already have the 40 chapter in our uh, youtube channel but uh, some different between the english version and also the mandarin version as uh, along the way we will uh, revise our english version from time to time to adapt to new and ongoing uh, big data because of uh, those data we collected from our uh, farmers in, in malaysia and this uh, sexy country so we will adapt from time to time into a new version so our focus is durian planting but it is also suitable for other fruit trees as well plantation with science only authorized miss debra to be the sole representative to arrange for visitation or appointing the international wholesaler and also ordering of original product the contact is shown at the screen below so subscribe to this uh, plantation with science uh, youtube channel then you will be updated with our uh, 40 uh, chapter from time to time expected to be a two chapter uploaded every month but if you urgently need us help you can uh, arrange with miss deborah about the orchard visitation but it's subject to availability it's foc as long as you are a customer of our plantation with science so the first we are go for the planning there's a few things you need to consider about the planning first is three distance between the tree and also the terrace then the earth the fencing and also the road and the station and also the uh, wheel breaker three distances for flat land 35 feet for the slope is 30 feet then distance 10 feet between row for vehicle movement for the terrace is built on solid earth and not reclaimed so all the things that i mentioned in chapter one will be further elaborate in more detail in the following chapter two until the chapter 40. so this uh, chapter is overview we are not zoom into the detail yet so for the earth and to plow the field and also for the fencing protecting from those like wild bull and also to protect you from natural disaster causing by your upstream uh, farmers 
So the windbreaker is some sort of like deal with strong wind. So this is what we learn from the developed country. Implement windbreaker like a three feet high windbreaker cover during three uh, 30 feet high from uh, from wind. And also it can help to promote more shaded area for the growth of the small trees. In this planning stage, uh, we will help you how to do the planning and also the easy work in the future. Because the, the groundwork is important. If you do it wrongly, then you need many, many efforts to salvage the mistake. If, if the planning correctly, then you will have lesser competition about the tree and also the reduced the sand slides. Second, Things that you need to consider is the F shape and also the fencing. It is advisable. You, you hire professional land surveyor to lay down where are you going to plant the uh, durian and also how high is the earth structure. And you hire a professional contractor for the drainage good in the uh, plantation. If let's say you do it correctly, it loosen the soil, it can improve the drainage and also reduce the chances of natural disaster from the upstream. So a lot of people, they, they have this kind of perception. Slope is not easily, water will be stagnant there, then in fact the rule actually is wrong. A lot of my customer, especially like in Malaysia, more than 1,500 of farmers, they're already aware of the so slope that not guarantee the water will be drained away. The third species. So a lot of people, they just plant one kind of species without look into other species that is uh, good in uh, helping the pollination. And also they are diseases uh, free. That means that they are very good in against some so-called like uh, pyto uh, uh, diseases, borer. Some fruit tree, especially the, those uh, durian trees shown on the screen like a D99 and also the D190 is good in uh, pollination. So you can consider planting as shown on the screen. The, the blue color represents the, the, the windbreaker, mangosteen tree, jackfruit. You see the, uh, the yellow color may be the main species that you are interested. That it should only occupy like 14 over 20 of uh, durian trees in your orchard. For example, the Busanki, Black Thorn, Dubai. For those that is good against the diseases, like they, they are pyto free or boro free, you should plant in between so that it, it, it won't spread those diseases or sickness easily from one plot to another area. So for the tree that good in pollination, you should plant like uh, in the ratio of 2 over 20, around 10% uh, of the tree. It will help during the pollination stage. If you follow this uh, species uh, suggestion from our plantation site, it will promote the stigma growth and also the pollination. A lot of people, they try to use chemical to induce flowering. It is useless. A lot of people, they, they have a lot of flowers, but not uh, turning into fruit. Because of their stigma is dry, it's not sticky. If you do it correctly, then the stigma will be very sticky and it helps a lot in the pollination. Second, from commercial point of view, you got a lot of variety. In case of one species like the Busan King example, the price drop, then you still have other uh, species that is covered. The fourth topic you should consider is cloud drainage, soil, and the root. As an example, on the left of the screen, then you see the earth structure. Then your drainage should be in the same direction as the arrow. And the side view on the right of the screen, normally you need to raise one feet from the earth level, then you plant the durian on top of it. So durian tree uh, apart is actually 30 feet. And also you lift 10 feet for the vertical to move. And when you dig the hole, it should be there three feet at least, and the white should be six feet. When you raise up one feet, the soil should be around three feet radius. How we change the soil, assuming you, you see a tractor, you dig, the soil from the hole, then you put at the one side. Then the second scoop also, you dig the soil in the hole, then you put it side two. Never mix side one and side two soil. Okay, then the scoop tree also, uh, you dig some soil out. Then the fourth also, you dig some soil out, then you all it, you put in different side. Then the fifth, you can actually dig the soil from the road 
that get you plan to uh, doing the root access. Then you dig the soil there, then you put inside the hole. Then the scoop six also, you dig from the road then put in the hole then. The seven is you put the, the soil from the side one, put back the soil back to the hole. Then the eight is the side two, then you put back to the hole. Then for the scoop nine, you put the soil that you put at the side three, then back to the road. Then the scoop ten also side four then back to the road. Then the scoop 11, need to purchase some kind of a uh, topsoil. Then you put in the hole and also the raised structure of the side view that I show you top right corner. If you follow uh, this uh, soil uh, changing uh, scenario, then it will improve the soil quality and also the reduce crease competition and also reduce the stagnant water. Show in the photo on the uh, left hand side corner. The vehicle is easy to move around or in between the tree to do any kind of fertilizing or spraying uh, microbes. So the fifth topic you need to understand is about the sunlight and also the irrigation. A lot of people, they use the black color uh, net to, to surround the four edges of this uh, durian tree. It's a wrong concept. It's, it's better. You shade it from the uh sunset from our big data trees that you planted that are uh, shaded from the sunset sunlight it grew better we try not to using the net in order to reduce the uh, the effort and also the workload for farmers because technology improved a lot of industry but so sad to say that a lot of farmers didn't enjoy that because they still listen to the old timer, they listen to their friend, they never think of what professional is advising them. That's why your workload is become more and more and more. And yet the, the yield is lesser. If you do it correctly, then tree can access to the mineral and the water themselves. That means that they will grow independently regardless you provide them or not and also your tree will be grow healthier stronger and faster topic number six is about nutrients a lot of people they put a lot of nutrient or fertilizer they thought that uh, the more nutrient or fertilizer they put then the better the growth of the durian tree in actual fact is no because the more fertilizer you put more than what the tree needed then the fertilizer become quite uh, salty then the tree need more water to wash away the salty soil water supposedly give to the new leaves now they use the water to wash down that's why you will see dry end but a lot of people when they see dry end they thought that is disease problem then they go to spray the pesticide and the make the cycle even worse that's why you need to put appropriate fertilizer you see the movement of your tree you see the reaction of your tree then you will know how much fertilizer to put we are just sharing the big data uh, nutrient uh, needed for the tree for example year one is 15 15 15 each tree just need a uh, 0.6 kilo per year. But unfortunately, I, I heard a lot of durian planters, they even every month, they put 0.6 kilo. So it's over. That's why your tree didn't grow. This is what we call big data. Use the data to analyze, then we educate uh, other farmers to follow. If this data do help certain farmers to have good harvest, then we adapt into our plantation with science. That's why plantation with science method is keep on growing. We have an ongoing data. We come into a conclusion. A lot of farmers, no matter which country are you from, you putting too much of fertilizer. In fact, it's more than a tree need. So fertilizer, in fact, is not a must. Plant built is own food through photosynthesis isn't this is the knowledge that you learn from science during your primary school but a lot of people forgotten as long as a plant they, they do the photosynthesis they have the sunlight air and also the chlorophyll then microbe connect them to the minerals that's it in actual fact 
if your plant growth is very good, then no need to put extra fertilizer because the soil already have sufficient. Topic number seven that you need to consider is about pests and also the diseases. A lot of durian tree, they are prone to pythopora problem, rhizo problems, mini bugs. A, a, lot, a lot of diseases. A lot of people, they keep on applying uh, pesticide, fungicide, the pests and also the diseases already have this uh, drug resistance. And they need to use others or they mix a few. And the frequency is sometimes is so heartbroken twice in a week. Besides damaging to the workers and also the owner's health, throughout my experience with a lot of farmers having skin cancer, they are having a lot of this health uh, complication problem. Imagine diarrhea. Take the medicine without the thought of disposing those toxic things from your body. Then you will have problem eventually. You need to use pesticide and fungicide wisely. Let the plant to fight against it slowly, build up the immune system. But let's say back to the worst scenario, you, you apply the pesticide, fungicide and herbicide. But if you do not detox, then the consequences you need to bear. Because plant is very good. Because plant will absorb all toxic, then activate its own detox system. If you don't know how to detox, but you just know how to spray the, the chemical, then the consequences is years of stagnant grown and lesser food. Your tree use all its resources to detox rather than extra resources to give you flower or fruiting or grow. You are the one that put in the toxic. When plant doing the good thing to detox, you blame the plant didn't have enough food. Review telling you that a lot of uh, this uh, pesticide and fungicide actually and herbicide actually lead to a lot of diseases like uh, Parkinson or what. If you go and Google, then you will know uh, how much people have suffering. Yet, you are so lucky. You are still in a good health. Then, hopefully, you have an awakening of uh, this chemical thing that may damage your health eventually. It's just a matter of time, soon or later. Topic number eight is talking about weeding, flowering, and fruiting. Most tiring job for farmers is weeding and also the pruning. You do the weeding, then before finish up the whole orchard, then the front part have new weed again. Most heartbreaking moment for farmers dropping flowers and pruning of infected fruit. And also they have unresolved sickness that roll out to be bigger and bigger problem. A lot of farmers, they have problems, but they don't know where to look for help. We didn't say that we can override all the climate, but we will reduce the chances, damages caused by these uncontrolled circumstances. A lot of farmers waiting for the next season, but they're not sure whether good harvest or not, because they didn't do anything that, but they expect a different outcome. If you want to change the outcome, you need to do some kind of modification, some improvement. Just like a lot of uh, flower, they are didn't turn out to be fruit because of the pollination. Pollination cannot be done perfectly because the stigma is non-sticky. Healthy stigma have higher flower percentage. And also, we have new methods help you doing the manual way and also the machine way of pollination that helps a lot of a uh, bigger and established orchard to improve the food yield up to 90%. If you follow plantation with science, you will have a few things that is to your benefit. Natural good grass will overpower the wheat. Then you no longer need to do weeding. That's why if you refer to all our testimonial, a lot of our farmers, they don't need to do weeding. Think of yourself. How much time you spend? How many labors you spend? How many herbicides you need to invest? in the weeding. How wonderful it is if you no need to do weeding. Then the fourth is promote all season fruiting. That means that you don't have just have one or two seasons. You can induce the flowers the natural way. Our three cut pruning method. The sixth is improve the fruit quality. A lot of our testimony in our website sharing like see it becomes smaller, the fruit tastes best. Last time is a lot of this unripe fruit. 
uh, watery, uh, the taste is not so good, no fragrance, but now a lot of fruit quality is improved. Why? Because as long as become healthy, it will know how to give the best resources to tree growth, flowering, and also the fruiting. So how plantation with science will help you? There's uh, two aspects that you need to uh, consider. First, environmental and also the commercial. If, let's say, you, you follow our way, then you will see a lot of like, small creatures like bees, bats, back to your orchard. These creatures it will help in pollination. And you will see a lot of worms and microbes exist in the soil. So you are expecting to see the soil is not so hardened like last time or cracked during a dry season. You were expecting a soil to be quite fertile and also loosen. Then it promote the growth of the root. So you will see like a natural growth grass starting to grow. Then you reduce the your uh, time and effort to do the weeding, and the larger leaves have more chlorophyll for photosynthesis. That means that your leaves will grow larger, one feet long color is dark. 80% of the tree is going strong and improved immune system. From the commercial point of view, we will uh, help you improve the fruit quality at its best. The fruiting is sooner. In our big data, our black thorn is just uh, 2.5 years. The sun king is actually 3 years. Follow traditional way. Normally, you have like 6 years or 7 years. Only you have the first season of fruit. So, you are wasting a lot of time up to 90% of the flower, eventually will become fruit. So we will guide you with those methods. After the COVID-19, a lot of people, they are more health conscious. Your fruit need to be compliant to organic way. So you will uh, have lesser replant rate, less than 5%, compared to the market of 50%. A lot of people, they don't aware that the biggest cost is the time that you use to replant. Fertilizer and the pesticide. Uh, more than 80 percent then you will save then you will saving on time spent and labors in orchard by more than 50 percent so if let's say you would like us to help you then you need to arrange with this debra so this is our equipment and our plant that incubate and produce the microbes so we have uh, this plant operated uh, since uh, 2003 Plantation with science consists of two portions. One is about the planting knowledge and one is about the product called Grow Eggs. Grow Eggs product part is contained of a one uh, bottle of four liters and also one carton is four bottle. It's all in liquid format. First, we switch our focus to knowledge. I will be the one who conduct this uh, YouTube uh, training and also the consultation. Uh, or the visitation. All visitation is free, but it's subject to ability. Please arrange with uh, Ms. Debra uh, for the uh, FOC visitation. And also for the knowledge part, normally the month one is a basic caution. You need to spray grow it uh, twice a week. You need to stop fertilizer, pesticide, fungicide, and herbicide. Then the month two will be the next phase that uh, for those Three that turn out to be healthy. Normally, our big data showing that it's more than 80%. It's healthy. Then you just spray grow it once a week. Then for the sick tree, you continue twice a week. Then we will find out the source of uh, underperformance. Month three is mostly all your tree, not 100%, maybe 95% already recover. Then you just spray grow it once a week. Then you start put uh, fertilizer and also doing the pruning. We will guide you the three cut pruning method. Then, after some time, they may go to flowering. Then you just continue spray, grow it once a week. Then spray pesticide if needed. And also during the flower season, we will uh, guide you on uh, how to do the pollination, the manual way, and also the machine way. Then for the fruiting, then uh. You still uh, spray grow it once a week. So in, in actual fact, have you noticed that even the flowering and even the fruiting, you still doing the uh, spraying the grow it. But last time you carry a lot of pesticide product, different brand, a lot of fertilizer, a lot of enzyme. But now it's just simplified to be just one or two only. So the fruiting part, we will guide you on when to do the pruning of the fruit. 
and also how to do the calculation for the uh, weight that can be sustained by each branch. So the harvest, then we will study whether it's applied to the standard or not. If not, then how to improve. Grow it, help it improve trees, improve flowering, fruiting, and also reduce the inflammation. Grow it consists of two portions. One is the microbes, bacillus, uh, nitrogen, soluble, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. Also have the nutrients from humic acid, seaweed, and also ketosan. How you mix and how you use. You mix one liter of grow egg in 100 liter water. You can use rainwater, rain water, or uh, from any pond. You need to shake well before use. Then you apply grow egg on the whole plant, especially the under leaves then on the stem and also the root area, radius of the canopy. So we will talk more deeper when you start to uh, implement uh, this uh, grow aid in your orchard. We will have a WhatsApp group for every individual farmers to monitor condition of your orchard. You can apply grow aid with any fertilizer, but you should not mix with pesticide or fungicide or herbicide. You should avoid keeping grow egg a bottle at a high temperature. And also, you can spray grow egg between 7 to 10 a.m. or 4 to 7 or any other time when the soil temperature is below 35 degrees. You can spray grow egg before raining or immediately after rain because grow egg micro only need 5 minutes to penetrate. So the Frequency of spraying grow eight is normally the one first month is twice per week, subsequent month once per week if tree become healthy, but six tree twice a week. Any grow eight mixed with water must be utilized within 24 hours. That means that you cannot store. During tree, three feet high, then you need to apply two liter water per tree. If you, all your tree are three feet high, then you can use the 20 liter tank to spray on that tree. Estimate the time to be one minute. For durian tree, 3 to 6, 5 liters per tree or 2.5 minutes. Then durian tree, 6 to 20 feet is 10 liters per tree or 5 minutes. And durian tree higher than 20 feet, 20 liters per tree. So you can use a pressure pump, but advisable, the pressure should be around 20 to 30 only. This is all the proven laboratory certificate to our product. We go to so many countries, not just in Malaysia, but Indonesia, Philippines, and most of Africa countries. Plantation with science is a product plus knowledge. If you are interested to become our, our representative or our wholesale, so if you need more help on the plantation with science, please contact us. We hope that we can help you and give you a hand to a happy farming. Hope to see you at chapter two. Thank you.